In this video, I am going to show you how you can freeze columns inside of Smartsheet. If you'd like to follow along, I'm using the IPO project checklist template from the Solution Center. And freezing makes it easy for us to stay organized because what it allows us to do is it allows us to view a column no matter how far we scroll to the left and to the right. And just to demonstrate this um, a little more, I'm just going to drag these columns out just a little bit more. There was a hidden column there and let me just space this stuff out a little bit so we can see this a little easier okay and here we have all of our information that we're working with now if we go down to the bottom and we click on the scroll bar we can scroll left and right and we can see there's more information over here we see the assigned to the progress and the attention in the notes that stuff is getting cut off now the problem is when we start scrolling over and looking at this information we no longer know what these columns are because we can't see the name or, or any of the information at all and so what we want to do is we want to freeze those columns so let's go back and we're going to start off with just one let's say that we want to freeze um, the priority column so no matter how far over we scroll you will always see the priority column so to do that just hover over the column click on the three dot column menu and then go down and click the freeze column button when we do it's going to darken the line that's in between this column the priority column and the complete column it's a little hard to see but that line's a little darker and it also gives us this double arrow to move that around not just on the column side but all the way down and so uh, what this does is if we scroll down to the bottom and we click on the scroll bar and we slide over to the right you will see that that column is now frozen and stays in place. So no matter where we are on the sheet, we can go back and forth and see that column. Now, if we want to unfreeze it, just click on your column menu and go to unfreeze column and it will put it back the way it originally was. Now you can fr um, freeze up to as many columns as you would like to. Let's say that we want to see priority complete and preparatory work all frozen so that we no matter how far over we scroll we can see all this information well you want to go to the last column that you want to see which would be preparatory work we click on column menu and we go down to freeze column when we do we can see that that dark uh, border there and we can see our scroll bar has gotten a little smaller and if we click and drag over you can see that those columns are now staying put and we are able to see the rest of the information. This works really great if you're doing a lot of work and say we're editing duration and we can sit down and edit that information and then uh, we can go back and say we're working on this. It just makes it nice and clean and easy and convenient. You can always come up to the top and you know resize your columns as needed. If you need more space, you might wanna make these a little smaller and just kind of free up a little bit of that space for us. But now what that does is it gives us the ability to scroll left and right and see that information. And then again, whenever we're done, we can just go up to the column. Oh, I have to, oh my, it looks like my column, uh, oh, it's a, that column menu disappeared. So we can just right click on it and then go down to unfreeze column and that will unfreeze that. So if you're not seeing your column menu at any point, you can always just right click on the column and you'll get the same options as going to the column menu. But that is how you can freeze and unfreeze columns inside of Smartsheet.